So, you're alive. Water. Water. Tell me, friend, how did you come to be here? My brothers and I, we, we were waylaid as we were escorting a band of pilgrims. And the others? Brothers, you say? I see you bear the cross of a Templar. I should guess that these brothers are not of your flesh, but brothers in arms and in spirit. I, they were. Were? How is it then that you survive, but no others? How is it the third vow goes? To support and defend them unto death, and to never forsake the bonds of brotherhood. If you will call me a coward, then say as much. I am no judge of your actions. Only God may do that. My own conscience weighs heavy the judgment of my honor. Ah, uh, yes, honor. You have heard, I presume, of the Samurai, far to the east. To them, honor is above all. They would fall on their own swords to save their own. I have thought on this, yet I fear that my soul would not enter into the kingdom of heaven if I were to suicide. 
you fear rightly so, for that is certainly truth. Thanks. I'd surely be dead if not for you. It would seem you're not quite ready to die yet. <laughs> no, not yet. It seems as though I have a little fight left in me. Do you fear death? No. No, I do not fear unto death itself. For I know my soul is certainly in the hands of the Lord. Pain, though. The spilling of my viscera and tearing of my flesh. That, that is my fear. So I stand before you now. Hmm. I have something for you. Why a gift? For I'm already indebted to you. I am but a messenger of the spiritual realm. I have no need for such a device. But first, recall the wisdom of the Lord as chronicled by his Apostle Matthew. All who draw the sword will die by the sword. Take care, friend. For that is the blade wielded in the Garden of Gethsemane by the rock of the church, even as he was rebuked by the Lord. I would not cast such a relic to the dust. And to what end am I deserved of such a great gift? Your friends are dead. Do you not long to spill the blood of your enemies? Strange words from a man of God. For vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I would ask, who then is his instrument? Who was she? True love. My mother, my bastard son. They are all that I love. All that you love is not the order of your true love before your brothers and God. You were not as chaste as you swore to All be. men suffer temptation. All men suffer, but only the weak acquiesce.
Lord, henceforth. A peaceful man. Bismillah. Oh, I'll call you. I'll have fire. This 
So, I see that you have slain the infidel. Yes. Let us pray that I've done well in the eyes of the Lord. He was no different than you. A young man, torn away from his home, to fight in a war he scarcely believed in. His mother will wail at her son's demise, for in his youth, he was a gem in her eye. How do you know these things? His brothers will weep at his passing and swear vengeance upon your head. Stop! His wife will never be held by him again, and she will be cast into the streets with no one to care for her. His son, same as the one you have hidden from this world, will grow up fatherless. Silence! You took all of this from him. You were a thief, and so your list of cardinal sins grows longer. <laughs> Lust, for you have lain with a woman against your own. Pride, that you thought yourself better than your brethren to have what they did not. Yeah. For you would not lift a finger to save your brethren as they perished. Wrath. <laughs> Even as you have slain that man and taken him from his son, surely you were not deserving of life. And your lover and son would cringe in your presence. So be it. I am a sinner. <laughs> Did you not heed my words? All who draw the sword will die by the sword. <laughs> by your own hands. Today, your soul will not enter into paradise.